Hi everyone, today's reject is brought to you by Mike Karen of Warner Music Group. He rejected the song, Are We Still In Love? Are We Still In Love is a song about two types of love. So it's about the, I love hanging out with you, let's be best friends type of love. And it's also about the, I can't be around you without wanting to put my mouth on your mouth and maybe variations of that type of love. When I wrote this, I knew it was possible to have both types of love in the same woman my parents they were best friends and you could catch them kissing if you walked in the living room at the wrong time and i'm not sure how my father was able to pull it off all, all my relationships circa 2005 around the time when i wrote this song were either friendship filled or filled with unquenchable sexual tension never both trying to turn fooling around into friendship or friendship into fornication just felt impossible. I felt like I was a child fishing with my father for the first time. Uh, and this actually happened where he caught a fish showing me how to cast. And then what followed was eight hours of me casting and catching only seaweed. That was a metaphor for my love life at the time catching that sea weed. I wanted to write a song about a relationship that had elements of deep friendship and deep desire as well. But since I didn't have that, I sat down, I wrote a melody, I put some chords in a certain order, and I wrote two songs using the same music and melody. So one song I wrote about Katie, my close friend, and then the other was about Kim, the object of my desire at the time. I then went through each of the songs line by line, and line by line I picked which, which uh, song I wrote had the best line for each part, and then I would use that line. So the song became, you know, this hodgepodge of equal parts, romantic and camaraderie. I met Kim while working at a call center in downtown Regina, Saskatchewan, circa 2004. She was often cited at the urinals as the most beautiful girl in the large corporate call center. I myself was a screamo kid who was possibly intriguing, but definitely off-putting. Yeah, nobody thought I was cool. She knew she was out of my league, just based on looks and, and that type of thing. Uh, I remember later when we dated, for a very brief period, there was at least five guys that came up to me and just said, it's so crazy that she's stooping to your level, basically. From almost the get-go, Kim and I's relationship was romantic, disguising itself as friendship because she did have a boyfriend at the time. And we're both old souls, so we're into, you know, taking trains and letter writing and stuff, and we had the a tendency to romanticize everything in our lives. Our job was boring and life-draining, uh, so we spent most of the time writing letters to each other and usually we, we would get or give it at least one one letter to each other a day call center if you can imagine it's about the size of walmart except for with a lower ceiling and the place is just filled with back-to-back -back partitions with a small little desk where you would take calls from and the operators that were, were split into different areas and different teams and Kim's team was on the whole other side of the call center. And I'd wait all day for her letter, which she would hand deliver while I was on a call or, or it would be waiting for me after I returned from my break. And we'd talk about everything in these letters. We'd just spill our guts. We'd share our lives. And, and by the time I left that job, I had this deep drawer just bulging with her words. I threw those letters out when I got married. Can't read you any excerpts of these letters. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see if I can find any remnants of these letters. I'm pretty sure they're all gone, but I'm just gonna go check. Star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. Westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. heavy in recent days. Know that I think of you often. I have your picture on my wall. The one of you in the back seat at 16, with bleach blonde hair and that hard look in your eyes. I wish I knew you then. Kim lived about a block from me. Late at night, when I couldn't sleep, I'd walk to her house and I'd throw pebbles at her window. And she'd come out and she'd sit on her front porch while I watched her smoke cigarettes and we'd talk about everything. 
this is the strange thing about our relationship because we had different friend groups and our relationship our our relationship consisted almost solely of these hyper romantic moments of letter writing and front porch conversations we didn't go for drinks we didn't watch movies I didn't know anyone she knew, and she didn't know anyone I knew. We had zero mutual friends, just had this strange romantic connection. And the only thing that we had, the only thing, the only thing that we had, the feeling of anticipation that was just below the surface of every conversation we ever had. We eventually dated later, you know, after I wrote the song. And we broke up pretty soon afterwards. My guess is the potential of our relationship was stronger than the reality. Also, I was a really bad kisser at the time and a pretty poor lover. Um, now, what, now, the other... Okay, now on the friendship side of things, one of, one of my closest friends in high school and in my 20s was Britt. I met her playing hacky sack by the school payphones, which is a sentence that is very 90s. Uh, we, uh, we became fast friends. We never became romantic, but we were very close to each other. And I felt strongly at the time that since we were so close and had such a head start relationally uh, then only ahead of our future spouses, that when one of us got married, our friendship would need to die. Uh, after high school, she went to Bible college in the middle of nowhere in Alberta. And then I happened to also get a job youth pastoring in the middle of nowhere in Alberta in Vulcan. Uh, I would often visit her. Uh, I would often visit her. She met an aspiring pastor and they got engaged. Now I stuck to my plan to detonate our relationship. I even wore all black at her wedding to symbolizing that while her ma most important relationship was beginning, ours was now dead. I paid her one last visit at Prairie Bible College before I began to pull away. One morning during campus chapel, Britt sat between me and her friend Katie. While the pastor preached, she made hand, hand motions suggesting that Katie and I become best friends. That Katie replaces Britt. In the middle of the sermon, she takes Katie's hand, she takes mine, and she links our hands. And somehow it works. Katie and I become really good friends. Even when Katie moved to Japan to teach English, we would, we would write each other letters and send each other books and CDs on the reg. Also, she taught. Also, she taught in the city of Sendai when there was the Sendai earthquake. But that's a story for another time. So yeah, this is a song about Kitty and Kim mixed together in a sexy, friendly smoothie. You should enjoy it. Mike Karen of Warner Music Group sure didn't. Colin, just to ask you, across Pacific oceans, could we be just as free, locked up in your pretty mind? You said that you believe me We'll take this hand and be with me All this time I your promise That we made when we were five And I called just to ask you Three questions pointed at you But the first, bring a hearse Two and three will take your life Are we still in love? Are we still in love? Are we still in love? Your touch does more harm than good I wrote you this letter While wearing a best sweater Yeah, I grew up staying home Sick of this kid bullshit stuff Stamp the destinations You're the flaw that lights my nation Let's take these lamps, photographs Make the movies of our lives And I call just to ask you Three questions pointed at you But the first, bring our hearse Two and three, you won't survive Just one while he 
was teaching me to cast He caught a bath somewhere with water Meets the sun all day I waited for my turn Seasick and sunburned Some nibbles But never a bite shut down But nothing has changed Are we still in love? Are we still in love? Are we still in love? Cause your touch does more harm than